Hello everyone, welcome to another update for Fimblewitter. As expected, the GameFest event brought about a lot of discussion of design and balance and such, and there's also some new added content as well. As you can see already underway here, uh, the projectiles are in fact working as I promised so long ago. Here we see the cat charging up his projectile, the different levels. You can see that they can hit the opponent and do damage, and they can also be blocked. There's no chip damage just yet, but that'll be quick to come. Finishing these projectiles not only lay the framework for other characters, but go a long way to making the cat himself seem a lot more complete. The cat specifically has some interesting tricks you can pull with his projectiles. Uh, that based on the speed that they go at, you can actually chase behind them and then combo with them. And you can definitely use them to confuse your opponents in certain circumstances as well. There are useful strategies for both backing up and throwing projectiles, as well as throwing them and advancing, and switching between the two. And the cat also has a new move, which is also a projectile, although it's very different. He shoots a projectile straight down, which is again based on his energy level, onto its distance, and he can also use this t as basically a double jump. He can use it to pop his enemies into the air for a follow-up attack, or he can just use it for mobility. This move combines with the cat's already excellent horizontal aerial movement speed, and makes him quite mobile indeed. When compared to the hare, the cat moves horizontally in the air faster, but he falls and therefore moves vertically much slower. This generally means that the character is better defensively than offensively as this means that their movement is good, but predictable, and therefore not as useful for attacking. Overall, I feel pretty satisfied the way the cat's coming out so far, and he really only has about seven or eight more moves that need to be completed for him. So, as for some of the map changes, there's a few small things, like, for example, the uh, timer at the beginning gives you 60 seconds instead of 30 now. Turned out that 30 really just wasn't enough time for people who were new or inexperienced with the game. And since both players can opt to skip it if they want, it doesn't really matter how long it is. And then for a more major change, now when you're capturing an enemy structure, you actually have to neutralize it first. So the capture rate is much faster, but you effectively have to capture it twice. Once to bring it back to a neutral state, and then once to capture it for yourself. And there are changes for the Fimbleware as well. Namely, it is no longer impossible to capture something in the Fimbleware. It doesn't entirely lock things out. Instead, what it does is make the capture take twice as long as it normally would. What this ends up meaning is that it's still possible at any time to go back and try to capture the territories that are now encased in winter. Although at the same time, it's a very risky and dangerous strategy. The winter slows you down severely, and the capture is very long. So this all adds up to the fact that if you send your character in to, say, capture the first base, it's very likely that he will be dedicated to this mission for the rest of the game. And that's of course if they survive and succeed at all. So it's definitely not a move to be made without thought, but it is technically possible any time, and it does mean that there's nowhere on the map that's truly safe at any given time. Although in general, of course, the action is still moving in the direction of the winter, for the most part. So, carrying forward, I'm of course going to be continuing to work on the cat moves, and there's also a number of various issues that I need to work out. What I've been doing is I've been compiling a list of the various outstanding issues on the Fimblewitter Google code page. It's a rather convenient way to list out all the issues that I have currently pending. And I've basically listed out the ones that I feel need to be done before I would call this release 0 0.2. Which sounds like just a meaningless number, but I feel that is basically the point where I would call this an alpha. So that's why I'm taking the time to so formally document this. This is basically the checklist to alpha. So that's the plan. Next few weeks, start whittling away at those, which include the cat moves. And also, due to the team's new member, we've been able to do a lot more testing and get a lot more game footage. So my hope is to get a couple more videos of some actual gameplay as well, coming soon. So, once again, thank you for following Fimblewitter, and I hope to see you again.